jbeans.net. Cruise ships offer many different complimentary food options for passengers to enjoy. However, it's not always obvious which options are included in your fare. In this video, we'll provide an overview of all of the venues that serve complimentary food aboard the Carnival Celebration during our cruise in August 2024. Just a quick note that if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment. It really helps our channel. And consider subscribing so you get alerted when we add new videos. Please keep in mind that hours may vary due to itineraries, days at sea, and port days. Breakfast in the Celebration's Lido Marketplace Buffet started at 6.30 or 7 a.m. on port days and 7.30 a.m. on days at sea. The buffet was located on Deck 16 midship and aft towards the back of the ship and served a full complimentary breakfast until 11.30 a.m. Guy's Pig and Anchor Smokehouse on Deck 8 aft near the back of the celebration served a smaller selection of the buffet's breakfast items. The venue opened at the same time as the buffet, but it closed a bit earlier at 9 a.m. on port days and 10.30 a.m. on days at sea. The Blue Iguana Cantina on Deck 16 midship serve complimentary made-to-order breakfast burritos, arepas, and huevos rancheros. The venue was open for breakfast from 7 to 10.30 a.m. on port days and 8 to 10.30 a.m. on days at sea. Big Chicken on Deck 16 aft near the back of the celebration serve complimentary breakfast items from 7 to 11 a.m. on port days and 8 to 11 a.m. on days at sea. The venue offered a chicken and biscuit, a biscuit and egg with sausage or bacon, and a fresh made three cheese omelet. During our cruise, Big Chicken was the fastest option for an omelet but the omelet could not be customized. Miami Slice on Deck 8 midship opened at 9 a.m. and served complimentary pizza until 4 a.m. the next morning. The venue had a couple of pizza options available that we had not seen on other carnival ships. For guests who preferred waiter service for their morning meal, the Festival Restaurant was available on Deck 6 aft at the back of the celebration. Complimentary breakfast was served on port days from 7.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. And a sea day brunch was served on most days at sea from 8.30 a.m. to noon. Starting at 11 a.m., Big Chicken switched over to a lunch menu that featured complimentary chicken sandwiches chicken strips and fries. Nearby, an add-ons bar had potato salad, pickles, slaw, and sauces available. The venue stayed open until 5 p.m. Straight Eats on Deck 16 midship of the celebration opened at 11.30 a.m. on days at sea and mid-afternoon on port days. The venue had three complimentary food stations available. Steam Dream, which served Asian-inspired bites. Mad Sizzle, which served Pan-Asian bites. And Time Fries, which served French fries with unique toppings. At noon, many more venues opened for a complimentary lunch on the celebration. The Lido Marketplace Buffet reopened for lunch at noon. The buffet stayed open until 3.30 p.m. on port days and 2.30 p.m. on days at sea. The Blue Iguana Cantina also reopened at noon and served complimentary made-to-order burritos and tacos. A nearby salsa bar provided a selection of fillings and salsas. Like the buffet, Blue Iguana stayed open until 3.30 p.m. on port days and 2.30 p.m. 
on Days at Sea. The celebration's very popular Guy's Burger Joint on Deck 17 midship opened at noon and served complimentary fresh grilled burgers and fries until 6 p.m. A toppings bar was located nearby with toppings and sauces available. Deco Deli on Deck 8 midship opened at noon and served complimentary hot and cold sandwiches and hot dogs until 10 p.m. Next to the deli, Miami Slice continued to serve pizza for lunch. A few of the celebration's complimentary lunch options were only available on Days at Sea. The outdoor section of Guy's Pig and Anchor Smokehouse opened at noon on Days at Sea. The venue served barbecue with sides and sauces until 2.30 p.m. Fresh Creations on Deck 18 Ford and the Serenity area also opened at noon on Days at Sea. The venue had a small, complimentary salad bar and a few pre-made salads available until 2.30 p.m. For guests who preferred waiter service, a few options were available on Days at Sea. The Celebration's Italian restaurant, Cucina del Capitano, was open for a complimentary lunch on Days at Sea. The venue served appetizers, soups, pizza, lasagna, made-to-order pasta, and desserts from noon until 1.30 p.m. The Celebration's Chinese-Mexican restaurant, Chibang, also opened for a complimentary lunch on Days at Sea. The venue served Chinese noodle bowls, Mexican burrito bowls, and desserts from noon until 1.30 p.m. Finally, for one day at sea, the festival restaurant served lunch instead of sea day brunch from noon until 1.30 p.m. Another complimentary option that was only available on days at sea was the afternoon tea in the festival restaurant. The service started at 3 p.m. and lasted for about an hour. Complimentary dinner on the celebration started at 5.30 p.m. in several venues. There were two complimentary main dining rooms on the celebration, and both of them served the same menu for dinner. The Carnival restaurant on Deck 6 midship and the Deck 6 level of the Festival restaurant were used for fixed-time dining. Early dining started at 5.30 p.m. and late dining started at 7.45 p.m. The Deck 7 level of the Festival restaurant was used for flexible anytime dining, with seatings available from 5.30 p.m. to 9.00 p.m. The dinner menu changed each night and included a variety of soups, salads, appetizers, made entrees, a vegetarian dish, and desserts. The Celebration's Italian restaurant, Cucina del Capitano, reopened at 5.30 and served a full dinner menu until 9.30 p.m. During our cruise, each guest's first dinner was complimentary. However, after the first dinner, all subsequent dinners at the restaurant cost $8 per guest. Likewise, the Celebration's Chinese-Mexican restaurant, Chibang, also reopened at 5.30 and served a full dinner menu until 9.30 p.m. Like Cucina del Capitano, each guest's first dinner at Chibang was complimentary and all subsequent dinners cost $8 per guest. The indoor portion of Guy's Pig and Anchor Smokehouse reopened at 5.30 p.m. and served a full menu with waiter service. The venue stayed open until 9.30 p.m. A bit later, the Celebration's Lido Marketplace Buffet reopened for dinner from 6 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. And much later in the evening, the indoor section of Guy's Pig and Anchor Smokehouse reopened with a midnight buffet 
from 11 p.m. to 1230 a.m. And now a few more complimentary options on the carnival celebration. Java Blue Cafe on Deck 6 Midship had complimentary bites available throughout the day. The venue had pastries and breakfast sandwiches available in the morning and sandwiches and wraps available in the afternoon and evening. Swirls had three different self-serve stations with complimentary soft serve ice cream and frozen yogurt available starting at 11 a.m. The Heroes Tribute Lounge station on Deck 8 aft was available until midnight. The Tides Pool Bar station on Deck 16 aft behind the buffet was available until 9.30 p.m. And the Guy's Burger Joint station was also available until 9.30 p.m. Complimentary non-bottled water, lemonade, unsweetened iced tea, hot chocolate, and non-specialty coffee and tea were available in the celebration's main dining rooms and buffet. Additionally, complimentary juices were available during breakfast hours. Finally, the celebration's room service offered a complimentary continental breakfast that could be ordered by calling from our stateroom phone.